DC circulator buses, giving five and a half million rides annually before the pandemic at just a dollar, are a crucial part of Mayor Muriel Bowser's strategy to connect DC neighborhoods. Buses are currently serviced and parked at three yards in the district, but soon DDOT wants to move all those buses to this 11 acre field surrounded by three Prince George's County towns. We gathered the mayors of those towns, Chevrolet, Fairmont Heights, and Seat Pleasant on a rainy March day. And one of the questions I asked them was, well, how much would this have cost you if you'd spent that over on Wisconsin Avenue in your own jurisdiction? We also asked, did you look any place other than Prince George's County? Did you look in Virginia? And the answer to that was no. So it just feels like, quite frankly, that the District of Columbia is taking advantage of a majority minority community. I've got to work with uh, our team at the University of Maryland. Prince George's County residents concerned about being surrounded by industrial and infrastructure projects realized there wasn't enough live monitoring of air pollution in their neighborhoods, so they set up tracking devices of their own. Prince George's County is growing, um, but I think it's beneficial for us to know exactly how it's affecting the, the residents, especially when you have a um, the industrial zone right next to the residential. DC points out that it's transitioning its circulator buses to an all-electric fleet by 2030, and the truck driver's testing facility will only have several appointments a day. But despite those assurances, Prince George's County leaders believe enough is enough. Well, they figure they can just come and dump. Prince George's County residents are looking to the DC neighborhood of Petworth for inspiration. There's pollution, there's noise, there's environmental issues. Yeah. Residents gathering as northern bus yard neighbors took on a different project under WMATA and got that transit agency to pause its project while working through neighborhood concerns. One of the things that I learned is the time that I wasted arguing with the people who were doing the presentation of what they're going to do here. They, they're only doing their jobs. One of those people who could actually do something about DC's push to move their bus yard to Prince George's County was right next to us. And, and DC Councilmember Janice Lewis George. She opposes the reopening of DC's Northern Bus Yard and has this advice for Prince George's County residents. It shifts and moves my colleagues to make a change in their stances. And it has happened here and it can happen there. And so I would encourage them to go, go to the top. DC's Department of General Services, responsible for building the bus yard and truck testing facility, wrote in a statement, the district is committed to working with the Chevrolet community, Maryland State and Prince George's County officials, as well as federal partners in the environmental review process to analyze and mitigate impacts. This will involve areas including air quality and noise pollution and any other areas of analysis as identified and needed. It adds DDOT may throw in electric car charging stations and more jobs for local residents. DC's bus yard is set to open 2025. But for now, three Prince George's County towns stand united in common cause, fighting air and noise pollution in their communities. You know, we need each other. Yes. We need each yes. other. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. In Prince George's County, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9. Mm.